Hey guys, this is Inventor Boy 16, and um, like I said, I'm going to be on getting a lot of videos put in, so I have another video I'm giving you guys in the same day. Well, I'm shooting the video on the same day. I don't know when I'm getting it up on YouTube, but this video is going to be about a field charge, a field, a field charger for my 3DS. I mean, not for my 3DS, for my EZIP 500, my awesome boss looking scooter. You're probably wondering why the deck is awesome. There's these two wires connected in the NG computer's um, dock. But uh, right now my deck, I uh, put a coat of spray paint on there so it's not dry. Uh, it's just getting a little bit dirty so I spray painted it. Um, and I'm letting the scooter charge up. Well, it was charging off the outlet right there and there. I don't believe you can't see it. Yeah, right there, I was letting it charge off of that outlet, but I'm going to demonstrate my field charger for you guys, which is my um, Everlast portable outlet. So what I'm going to show you guys, that actually does work. And these batteries are, by the NG computer's readings, i plug the scooter so you guys don't get suspicious. By the NG computer's readings, these little batteries are actually at full. They were at low previously, but they're at full now. My charger is handling it rather well. Charging up these batteries. Whoop, don't want to step on the charger. Move it right there. I'm going to give you a demonstration that it is actually capable of powering my scooter now. Earlier, I was having a problem with it because these batteries were so dang low, they wouldn't power it. But if I plug in the clip here, My uh, transformer just went on there. The transformer. Let's see. I'm thinking why this is when I first had when I first was trying to use this. My uh, plug or whatever. Like whenever I tried to use it, it would uh, the end, the charger would go on. It would say the charger is working. Yeah, the adapter here would say there's acceptable amount of power for it, but it just wouldn't give me that voltage reading. So what I'm gonna do is. Plug it in. See, it's on, and it's making a little bit of a squeal noise. It always does that because that's just it. And it's not plugged into anything right now, but the batteries. So you see, it's not plugged anything into anything. Whoop. Sorry. <laughs> it's a little bit of a problem there. It's not plugged anything but into anything but the system itself and the battery, the one 12 volt battery that's powering it. And you'll see. I right, plug it into my scooter and get it in there. The light turned red. And normally, when the when the batteries there were too low, it would start flashing. Like this would go on. It would turn on green for like a flicker, and then turn red for a flicker, and then turn off. And then it would restart the process over and over and over again. That's because the transformer wasn't able to initialize to be able to get the proper amperage for this because the battery there was dead. So, just wanted to show you guys that the charger I'm using is working. And I think it's actually cranking it a little bit, um, I think it's cranking in the same amount of voltage that it would normally. I tried it on uh, something else, like a lamp in my room earlier, when it had the low battery on there, and it actually worked. So, it's doing its job, so it's good news. Um, and, like in my previous videos, uh, I did switch over my channel, uh, switch my channels and stuff like that, so I'm just telling you that in this video, you know, if you haven't been watching this channel for uh, a while now, you know, I, um, if you, and if you've watched my previous videos, like my introduction video, my EZIP review video, and my, uh, and my, uh, uh, Everlast portable outlet here, then you'll know that I switched accounts from bomber boy 15 to inventor boy 16 so yeah but i'm just getting more videos in for you guys and i will do a, a review of this of the machine while it's actually in use at a field or somewhere else differently so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put like a thinking of putting this in the back of here i know i have the freaking scooby-doo the ugly scooby-doo 
things on here. They're really ugly looking, but I don't really care. Um, but what I'll do is I'll uh, have this, and I will get it appropriately appropriately attached to the scooter, and I can put my thing in here, my system in here, and as well as my uh, one of my 12 volt batteries. The thing is, is this does drain that little 12 volt battery rather fast, but with uh, the uh, with the self reproduction charger right here, when I'm not using the field charger, I can have this, and it'll it can probably try to give me some booster power or whatever. Get my battery going. You see, it's still not flickering, which means it's still at a high. The battery itself is still enough higher voltage for the system to work. And it's charging the batteries itself now. So this is a complete circuit. But the thing is, is the way I have these hooked up is right now they're in a parallel. The, what it thinks right now is parallel. So this battery is actually connected to this battery and it's thinking that it's a big amount of voltage. Um, and, uh, and the thing is it thinks that it's only 12 volts when it's actually 24 volts cranking through it and it's allowing the charger to charge these, the uh, charger, sorry, to charge these and it's allowing the system to be run all at the same time. So, yeah, that's just a little thing to note. And, and to prove to you guys it can actually charge my scooter itself, I'm going to unplug the unit itself and um, plug the engine computer's uh, cords into the mains. I don't know if you heard that, but my charger just made that loud beep like it was finished and it goes green. You see there? And it's capable of charging my scooter. It's the scooter itself. The scooter's onboard batteries, which is a, a 1,800 milliamp hour battery is really good news. So I'm just going to plug the system back in, the, the, the battery self-sustained system. Because the thing is, is, these batteries are still not at full rate, uh, judging to my, through my uh, onboard computer on here and the charger itself. It's not at full yet. So, let the charger take care of these. You see, it's still powering. It's still doing good and the light, light there is actually brighter than what it's ever been so it's actually doing a really good job so yeah I just wanted to let you guys know that and I will I promise you guys this once I'm done with the makers fair where I'm going to be taking this and seeing what they think of this and if it can be used as an actual piece of a uh, piece of equipment at the makers fair and uh, other stuff like that and then I'll use it for my own purpose which is a field charger for this so um i hope you guys enjoyed uh don't forget to comment like and subscribe please and if you guys are listening on youtube i really could use some youtube friends like honestly like i really have nobody like i want to start a conversation with you on youtube or a video chat log or something like that with you guys because i really have no friends on youtube right now and no friends in general, so I'm having a bit of a rough time right now, so I was wondering if any of you guys would uh, be, uh, be like, if you wanted to be my friend on YouTube, we could chat back and forth with each other using video chat, or uh, we could uh, text each other on the YouTube blog channel or something like that, and yeah, I was just wondering if any of you guys would do that with me, because, you know, I want some friends, and you know, so, yeah, and I promise you guys I will get some more videos up. I will put the uh, put a thing back here for this battery and all this stuff to be mounted on. I can use it to power the scooter. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Stay cool, YouTube.